Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java array list versus array with the help of examples so guys in java we use array list class in order to implement the functionality of a resizable arrays so guys if you remember we have the array wherein whenever we initialize a particular array we have to provide the size of the array but this is not the case in the array list as we have seen previously as well so for array as you can see we need to declare the size of an array before we can use it once a size of an array is declared it's hard to change it so guys basically whenever the program is getting compiled initially a particular size of the array gets reserved in the memory and that memory can be used in order to execute our lines of code but in the array list the memory is getting allocated at the run time so we need not have to have the size of the array list being provided during the initialization so guys what are the examples that we are going to see first of all we are going to see add elements to an array list then we will see access array list elements and then we will also see remove array list elements which will be the third example over here so guys let me just move to this eclipse id so over here what we will do is first of all we will understand what is an array so over here we are defining an int array so we can have int array over here and then we define it in this way that is int array and then it is going to have 10 elements so as you can see this is the array of integers and using the for loop we can just print the content of this array so over here i am going from int i it is equal to 0 i less than array so we have array over here so array dot we will use the length property in order to get the length of the array and then we will have i plus plus and then guys what we will do over here is we are simply going to print all the elements using array and then i and then we are going to have space character so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see all the elements are zero over here what i will do is i will just provide the print method instead of print ln so that on console we can see all the elements on one line so as you can see all the elements are zero that's because all the elements were set as zero over here by default so basically guys we are providing the size of the array over here and that is one of the main disadvantages of using the array now guys when we are using the array list so we need not have to provide the size of the array list so let's say the same number of elements we want to add in the array list so we can use the array list class over here and it can be of the data type end so we can have the end and then let's say we have my list as the object name equal to new array list so similar to how we initialize a particular class object we initialize this array list as well so it is showing a red underline over here so instead of having this int can we have the integer class over here so i'll just provide the integer class so we have integer so guys instead of int we are supposed to have integer class being provided in this open and close angled brackets and then guys we can add our elements over here by using the add method so we have my list dot add we want to add the integer so let's say we have one and then followed by let's say we add more elements so we add two and three over here i'll just change this to two and three and then in order to print this we can have the print statement and then we can simply have list content is and then we have my list being printed over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so the entire content is being printed on one line so the very first thing that is this is the array so i'll just provide a new line print statement over here so we can have print ln which will not take anything let me just save this file and try running this code now so that the output comes from different lines so as you can see this is the array content and the list content is this that is one two three is being printed over here so guys in this way we can add the elements inside the array list so this is the first example that is add elements now how do we access the array list elements we already accessed using the my list but let's say we want to print this elements one by one separated by a space character over here similar to how we did for this array example so guys what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove this print statement and i am going to have the for loop over here and we are going to use the enhanced for loop so we can have integer i over here it is taking what it is taking my list so guys we can use the enhanced for loop over here in this way and 
we can print this we are going to have the print statement instead of print ln and over here what we will do is we are going to use this i variable which is going to iterate through this my list elements so over here i am going to print i followed by a space character and then after the loop we can have the new line character over here so i just copy this and paste this new line character so guys what this will do is it will iterate through all the elements of the my list and it will print one at a time all the numbers i'll just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see one two three is getting printed that's because we have only added three elements over here now guys let us say another example how to remove the array list elements so we can easily remove the array list elements so what i will do is after this statement we have my list over here and we can have the dot remove method so as you can see remove it takes an index as the parameter so we are going to use that and let's say i provide the index as 1 which is going to refer to the second element that is since it is zero the base index zero index will be this content that is 1 and first index will be this content that is 2 and then let's say i want to print the entire list so we can have print ln statement over here and i'll just provide list content is and then we have my list over here so we are printing the entire list let me just save this file and try running this code now so one two three was getting printed but we removed the first element that is the element at the first index so the element at the first index is two so what is remaining one and three so as you can see one and three is getting printed now after the remove statement and guys in this way you can easily add the elements or remove the elements from the list as well and the code looks pretty much readable so as you can see we are using some sensible method names over here but in the array we were just using the open and close square brackets and we were trying to access the elements every time whenever we initialize the memory has to be fixed to this particular size that we provide during the initialization so guys it depends on your requirements whether you want to use the array or you want to use some array list so that it becomes easy to understand the code for you as well as for your colleagues so that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own so that you get more knowledge about more methods of the array list please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java stack class with the help of examples so stay tuned